feel like I say this about every place I travel, but Halls Gap has got to be one of my favourite places to visit. I've got Victoria with me and she's never been before, so I've got her a fresh sense of excitement to show her all my favourite spots. I figured there's no better way to get your bearings of the town than a walk along the river. We did a loop from Daly's Bridge out to the Brambuck Centre and had way too much fun talking to all the animals along the way. It wouldn't be a complete synopsis without heading up to the Broker Lookout for the bird's eye view. Soaking the scenery, we parked up and called it a night at the Rosia Track campsite. We kicked off the new day with the Halls Gap staple, the Venus Bars, then continued on through the Grand Canyon and up to the Pinnacle Lookout. The day was too beautiful, so we figured it'd be rude not to take a little dip on route. Faced with the misty morning, we decided to start our day exploring a track along some cliffs just up from our campsite. We jumped in the patrol and headed to our next location, Hollow Mountain. It's not a long walk, but it involves a bunch of rock scrambling, and if you ask us, it's the best kind of hike. The summit is quite a view, but what really makes this my favourite spot is all the caves and the cliff face to the left before you get to the top. They are seriously unreal. After firing up wiki camps, we pressed on to the nearest free camp and what a little gem it turned out to be. Lake Taylor, I don't think it'll be the last time you see us. To give our legs a rest after a few days hiking, we decided to sit out in the car and do some exploring. We didn't have much of a plan, but we headed for some four-wheel drive tracks in the south of the Grampians that I remember reading about ages ago. Goat's track wasn't much of a four-wheel drive track, but what it lacked in thrills, it certainly made up for in sights. I feel like I've unlocked a side of the Grampians I've never seen before. It's like a mini high country out here. It's the weekend, and for the entire day, we only passed a total of two people. We wound our way back through a series of other four wheel drive tracks. Now I'm sitting back here at a free bush camp about to have some dinner. I am peaking, what a day. Hold on. You didn't think we were going to come to the Grampians without visiting a waterfall, did you? We hit up Fish Falls instead of the more popular Mackenzie Falls and we literally had the place to ourselves. side of the trip, we drove over to the balconies, 
and crossed our fingers for a good sunset. And man, we were not disappointed. As always, doing a place justice on video, let alone conveying what it felt like to be there in the moment, is a near impossible creative challenge. So I can't encourage you enough to come check out these places for yourself. I've got all the details for the places we visited in the description. Catch you in the next one.